encouraged by such a great and joyful <coughs> cloud of witnesses, how can we not entrust ourselves to God's grace? Yes. We take this time, now called confession, to do precisely that, to entrust ourselves to God's grace. We confess the truth of our lives. We name the wrongs we have done and the wounds that we bear. We name the fears that haunt us and the hopes that inspire us. We do all this to entrust ourselves to God's grace, which enables us to begin again. So let us pray first in silence and then in speech as indicated in your order of worship. Most merciful God, we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. Yet by your grace, there is health in us. In your history, carry us on. As we bring unity and joy, encourage us. As we bring division and pain, forgive us. In our struggling, strengthen us. In our stumbling, lift us. When we weep, comfort us. When we laugh, enjoy us. In Christ we pray. Amen. Hear these words of good news. Our God is indeed a merciful God. A God who knows that we are not perfect creatures. A God who walks with us, who forgives us, and enables us to start again. So friends, believe the good news of the gospel. In Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Thanks be to God. And now, in that forgiveness, we experience the peace of Christ. So the peace of Christ be with you all. And also with you. And let us greet one another with the peace of Christ. <laughs> 